in this video i'm back to my apartment now finally have electricity so i'm able to do videos and today i wanted to make a special video on one of the possible outcomes from pulling void shards and that would be pulling a cold heart right pulling a cold heart is a big thing it's a rare champion you get unlucky because you're looking for void legendaries right but one of the rares that you can get that is the best one and if you're a new player especially it's gonna be a cold heart and i'll be showcasing beginner builds and more mid game builds on her instead of the end game builds i'm not going to do that because those are easy to make rather than the beginner builds and how you can use your cold heart as you start out without much gear without much of an investment to your great hold so getting started guys uh, by the way my my shard pulls i'm gonna be doing those tomorrow so keep an eye on the channel if you want to see me pull some shards and also try to get the turbo i need 80 for the guaranteed turbo i already have two but since i'll be pulling to get necrid might as well pick up the turbo that is there right so getting started so a great hold bonus um to have a, a good one for a cold heart or any champion really is going for the accuracy tree so it is recommended that if you pick up a cold heart to start investing a little bit into the accuracy tree right here the accuracy bonus from the great hole it really depends on how difficult that is going to be for you if you're farming in gold arena then that is a little bit easier to at least get the couple of couple of levels in just to get maybe to the plus 20 plus 30 accuracy is still very solid and that will help you a lot developing um your cold heart right so let me just show you i do have three cold hearts built out already but the one i stripped down from all her gear just for this showcase so Right now, I do have a cold heart that is built more for the end game. Look at that, those stats overall 77% crit rate, 264 crit damage, with no real focus on her attack or her speed. All right, her speed is very low 176, and that is basically for going for power and 248 for accuracy. Then I do have my other cold heart, which is my relentless cold heart, and that is used for one of the Doom Tower bosses with a lot of accuracy. A lot of speed relentless pieces plus the cruel set and it's just there for getting as many turns as possible hopefully getting some refresh um procs as well and and getting the damage going but this is the real cold heart that i want to be showing for this video okay the, the skin is just there that was a bad decision for me to go for the skin that took a lot of uh, a lot of fight to get it but you'll see that i don't have any rings amulets and banner that's the the straight thing that you see immediately when i'm showcasing this one right now so um that is not recommended but i'm doing this because of my great hole bonuses i do get a lot of both health defense look at that 2000 uh health two, 275 attack 148 defense of course this would have been higher if i had rings amulets and banners already equipped crit damage i get resistance and more most importantly i get accuracy right here so all of these i would have gotten from i would say my ring amulet and banner that's why i have nothing of that equipped so my recommendation starting out with your cold heart is to check on if you've got any perception and speed gear available that offer both critical rate and critical damage that's your beginner point of where you want to be building your cold heart cold heart benefits a lot from accuracy because she does apply very good debuffs a heal reduction debuff she applies poisons but most importantly she can fully deplete a target's term meter at, at 100%, right? And that is the biggest thing that you want to be doing. So 100% depletion of the term meter plus a 30% chance, extra chance to do a critical hit. And that's why critical, hit, critical rate is not as important starting out, especially, especially in a fresh account with the cold heart. So what you want to be doing is just focusing a little bit on crit rate, but you want to hit those accuracy targets first and you want to be fast okay um with regards to masteries i would say you don't need to give her masteries just starting out if you don't have the resources to do so focus a little bit get the first few ones such as the deadly precision extra five percent crit rate very cheap to do extra ten percent crit damage here from keen strike then we have extra five percent damage when attacking from full health and then we get another 10 accuracy and then another 20 accuracy on the first hit that she'll be doing using her a3 skill and this is going to be very specific because if you want to have this being effective at all times then you want to be locking out her a2 skill have that in mind if you're building a custom ai team and then everything else it all depends on how deep you want to go into the cold heart she doesn't really need to go 
uh, into the full masteries and that's why I don't have on all of them full masters you just farm to get the tier 6 one and you want to be going for either helm smasher or you want to be going for flawless execution so both are very important flawless execution is more for if you're having issues with getting a lot of critical damage and you want to be consistent if that's what you want to have then flawless execution it is the way to go with helm smasher is more for that random chance of you to ignore extra little bit of defense and get that extra damage um, possible through a build that you want to be running. So I do have Helm Smasher from my previous build. I'm going to keep that in. But let me show you the gear. The gear is what is very important. So for the Cold Heart, overall, I went for a 190 plus speed. That's your goal, okay? You don't care about the damage. If you're just starting to build your Cold Heart, you don't care about the damage as much. You want her to be fast in order for her to rotate through her A3 skill. You want her to be tanky a little bit in terms of health. You see that she has 39,000 health. That is because you don't want your cold heart to be dying unless you're running a reviver team for any area that you'll be using your cold heart in. Let's say that is the spider or the fire nine. Any of those two places are great for, um, for cold heart, but starting your build out, I would highly recommend going for more health because you don't want to have a big glass cannon glass cannon is a term used for heroes which are built um basically they get one shotted and they they go down and that's it you don't want to have that kind of cold heart in your team right the reason is you want to have her and utilize her potential damage and potential terminator reduction as frequently as possible and this sort of build is is what makes her shine she will not be targeted as much because of her health for the spider and she will not get one shotted by the boss for the fire knight of course this is again a beginner type of build and as you push through you want to be um building cold heart as strong as possible trying to reach that 70 percent crit rate right now i'm at 45 percent which is it's not 45 percent remember you get an extra 30 percent on her a3 skill so that's basically 75 percent extra um 75 percent critical rate that she has because of that extra crit rate so remember that the, the crit damage is there but you will be using Cold Heart in this sort of build for her Termiter manipulation. That's why you need speed and accuracy. I went with HP percent on the gloves. Look at those stats. Those are intentional that I'm, I'm using these sets. Look at that. HP percent on the chest piece. You want to get HP percent or HP flat. Whatever you have as long as you try to get those stats um, going for the Cold Heart. And because I used Perception Gear, which is on purpose this gear is farmed through doing the faction wars getting the crafting materials and then going ahead and uh, crafting these items that's the way you move forward and that's what you need to be focusing on when you're building your cold heart perception speed gear honestly resilience works as well but you need to be to be able to think okay how much accuracy do i need to have any source of accuracy do you have an accuracy lead you have to have those in mind for dungeons, you want to be going for about 10 accuracy per level. So if you try to beat 20, and if you just manage to get the cold heart, you want to be running 200. If you want to do 15, 150 is fine. You want to do 10, 100 accuracy is fine. Actually, it's going to be more than enough for at least stage 10. And that's how uh, everything works. So let me finish up showcasing the build and, that, and then we'll show like a, a an average run that you would use this sort of cold heart in. And honestly, the, the pieces that I have, although some of them are legendaries and epics, um, six star and five star, look at the stats, you know, speed, accuracy there. That's what you want to be going for. Some of them do have some crit rate, some accuracy, but these are not crazy items in, in the sense of doing this showcase. So have that in mind. Speed boots are a requirement. No question about it. And that's, um, that's pretty much it. So let's run it and let's see how you would use uh, this sort of cold heart. So what are we doing here? We have a team built. It's, it does have some strong epics in there, such as Miscreated Monster and Tyrell. Both are very good for what we're trying to do, beat the Spider 20. But here, our focus is going to be the Cold Heart build. Um, we can do the decrease accuracy here with Art of Pain. But remember, the Masteries are not going to be that beneficial with this one. Um, let this be the, the Heart Seeker. Uh, focus right there. We've got Armager there, which is an amazing champion to have. Uh, Miscreated Monster, Big Shield. This will enable you to survive without a Reviver. 
um, we want to have an opener there with the defense down and we have high good tune always be boosting with her speed so let's have a look at this one so um, the idea here is what keeping cold heart alive keeping hold cold heart be useful with the terminator reduction the um, the longer that the cold heart survives the team survives the better it is and once you understand that you need to be establishing control at least for the spider using that build using high speed and then high accuracy in order to never get resisted then your team will be uh, basically okay and then you focus on the remaining of the stats but that's of course with more gear farm and then you work on the slow upgrades to get your cold heart going a little bit better than what she was before okay try to get her to that 100 crit rate chance on her a3 skill which just needs her to be at 70 percent crit from the gear and then she gets a 30 percent crit rate from the um the actual skill and that will slowly get her going so with better gear this this wouldn't have been a one minute run probably here we, we would have been at about 30 percent of the boss's health cold heart is that good in terms of damage we have high Katoon, which is a free champion to get we get miscreate monster which is the big shields champion the protector of the team um ideally you want to have something like this if you want to be running um the spider and you see there big big potential coming in from the cold heart we get armager of course the mvp there for the <laughs> relentless gear that is proccing and this run will be like an under two minute run but um you'll see that the the damage that cold heart did by the end of this will be very very high even with the gear that i had on her even with the um i think it was 100 percent overall crit damage and 50 percent crit rate going to 75 percent uh with 45 and then going to 75 percent with the extra crit on her um skill the reason for that is that she's rotating through she's at over 190 speed plus high cartoon there for the speed boosting and she really does work with that it's it's very simple the way that you build a cold heart starting out and then honestly the sky is the limit and the difficulty is the limit as well i'm just going to add that the difficulty of what you're trying to do if you're trying to do 21 to 25 have that in mind that uh, your cold heart will get capped out you won't be doing like a million damage you'll be doing 10 percent of the boss's health so have that in mind 2.2 million damage coming in from the cold heart with that kind of gear and then we've got armager 2.6 but honestly he is um not capped out in terms of the gear and we'll get a nice uh six star accessory right there from stage 20. very easy team to build and it all depends on how you go about building your cold heart i showcased my other cold hearts at the start so that can be a base of understanding on how to do that but that's how it is and before we close it off let me just show you what she actually was like before uh, before I move the gear to do this showcase and my actual build for my fast and strong cold heart Let's close this off. Look at this. This is my speed um, Cold heart build. She's built with 233 speed 70% crit 237 crit damage because she caps out on stage 25 of the spider So there's no real reason for me to go higher than that and uh, Her gear is is focused on getting more turns getting more of that term reduction getting more of her a3 skills in and uh, that's how she works it is my cold heart thank you guys for watching subscribe if you haven't already if you want to see more of these budget early type of builds removing pieces just to get you know a better understanding of where you want to be going for and how you can use that you know that type of build and and, and going um again stage like 20 with different builds different champions out there you can recommend it down below in the comments i'll have a look and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya